How's it going everybody? This is this is 4501 Studios and today we're gonna be finding some goose and woolly bear. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so at the beginning of the episode, we see people collecting hay. It was summertime and it was the perfect holiday for people to collect hay. But here comes the first goof. If we look at Percy's cylinder, we can see that it's in the wrong position. Then Percy gave a ghostly whistle to Thomas. Percy gave a ghostly Look how wonky Thomas' eyes are. Whistle. Don't be frightened, Thomas, he laughed. It's only me. Your ugly fizz is enough to frighten anyone, said Thomas. You're like ugly indeed. I'm green caterpillar with red stripes, continued Thomas firmly. You crawl like one, too. I don't. Who's been late every afternoon this week? It's the hay. I can't help that, said Thomas. Time's time, and Sir Topham Hatt relies on me to keep it. I can't if you crawl in the hay till all hours. Green caterpillar indeed, fumed Percy, as he set off to collect some hay to take to the harbor. Everyone says I'm handsome, or at least nearly everyone. Anyway, my curves are better than Thomas's corner. Thomas says I'm always late, he grumbled. But he's I'm never, never late. late. For at least only a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He can always catch up time further on. Then there was trouble. As Percy backed up, there was a crated treacle about to drop on him. And here comes the next, the next goof. When Percy is, has tricky trickle all over him, we can see that the studio light is reflecting off of the smoke box. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Percy was cross. It took a long time to he get it out. He was still sticky when he puffed away. Then a the wind, wind was came. blowing fiercely. Look at that, exclaimed the driver. The wind caught the piled hay, tossing it up and over the track. The line climbed here. Take a run at it, Percy. Look at that tree back there. I mean, it's, I mean, this is not a goof or anything. I'm just glad that they got the tree moving. His driver advised, Percy gathered speed, but the hay made Percy the got rail speed. slippery. But still, look at Percy's cylinder. It's still in the wrong direction. Wooden grip. Time after time, he stalled with spinning wheels and had to wait till the line ahead was cleared before he could start again. They laughed and shouted. When they were laughing, we can see that they have sticky tack. Percy panted. Look what's crawled out of the hay, teased Thomas. What's wrong? asked Percy. Talk about Harry Caterpillar. Thomas's lamp is still crooked. Thomas. It's worth being late to have seen you. Then Percy went back to the sheds. showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my buffers. No wonder they all laughed. I'm just like a woolly bear. Please clean me before Toby comes. But it was too late. Was no good. Toby told Thomas everything. Thomas told Toby all about him. I mean, Thomas told Toby.
and at the end of the episode, they decided to tease Percy. Thomas and Toby made jokes about woolly bear caterpillars and other creatures which crawl about in hay. They laughed a lot, but Percy thought they were really being very silly indeed. And this marks the end of the episode. Alright you guys, so those were all the goose that I found in Woolly Bear. So, I never found this many goose before, and I can't believe some of them were very bad. But anyway, having said that, if you guys didn't sound good that I didn't point out, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.